Today, I'm gonna to show you how to automatically delete voice recordings from your Alexa smart home. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I think it's safe to say that by now, we all know that our smart gadgets track our every move. And if you're anything like me and have a smart home set up, the voice commands that you're telling it to control all of your different lights or whatever you have are also being recorded for a improved experience, which we all know is bull crap. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the steps on how to automatically delete those voice recordings within the Alexa app after a set amount of time. So that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Now to get started, you're gonna to want to go into your Amazon app and just for the sake of the video, so it's not activating all of your guys' uh, dots or whatever that is that you have, I'm going to leave the word Alexa out because there's a lot of settings in here that have that in the name. So I'm just gonna shorthand those and uh, you can just follow along from there. So from here, once you're in the app, you're gonna tap on more in the bottom right hand corner. And then you're gonna to want to tap on the gear where it says settings. Once you're in there, you're gonna come on down to the bottom and you're gonna to want to tap on where it says so-and-so's privacy. And then once you're in here, you're gonna to want to click where it says manage your so-and-so's data. So we're gonna click on manage your data. And in here is where you can manage all of these types of settings. So you've got voice recordings where you can enable deletion by voice. If you want to say so-and-so, delete my recordings from today or for the last month, you can have that toggled on and off with this switch right there. But what we're gonna be looking at today mainly is choose how long to save those recordings. So if we tap on this little arrow, it says choose how long to save the voice recordings. You've got save recordings until I delete them for 18 months, for three months, or you don't have to save them at all. And you can choose whichever one of these that you want. For myself, I am going to choose the save recordings for three months. Now also note, there is no way to customize a certain time frame at this time. We are locked down to these four options right here. However, you can of course go in and delete those by voice or you can come back into the app and delete those manually, which I'll show you here in just a moment. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and click on confirm. Also note that if you do delete recordings, it might mess up the experience a little bit because it does use your voice and your frequencies to kind of tailor your uh, smart home experience. So by deleting some recordings, things might act a little bit differently until it kind of learns those. Now, if you don't have any recordings to save at all, then there's nothing for it to kind of tailor that experience to. So in any case, I went ahead and clicked on confirm. And then it says, once you've selected confirm, your voice recordings will be deleted and cannot be retrieved or accessed in review voice history. We're gonna go ahead and click on confirm. So that is how to go through and set up how to delete those voice recordings uh, automatically. Now, of course, again, you can delete those all manually. And if you go back one screen, you can come up where it says review your voice history, tap on that, and you can choose what's displaying. So we've you can see that it defaults to today and for all devices, and then you can tap on delete all recordings from today, or if you were to tap on that and do click on today, you can do from yesterday, last seven days, 30 days, all history. You can do a custom time frame here. So you can do a custom manual, but you cannot do a custom automatic. And then of course you can choose which devices you want it to delete it from. So we're just gonna do today, we'll leave all devices, then we're gonna tap on delete all recordings from today. Again, it's basically just giving you a warning. We'll click on delete and you can see that all of those recordings from today have been deleted. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, super easy to do, and you get your privacy back at least for a fraction of a second. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe if you got something out of it. Let me know if you like these types of videos down in the comments. If you wanna support the channel in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com and check out some of the merch that we've got over there. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>